Hey guys, for this video, I want to show you this Alpine water fountain that I recently picked up. As you can see, you do have to put it together. So before we can take a good look at the finished product, we got to build it. So I want to show you the parts and pieces that go into it, put it together, and then take a look. So we get the big bucket over here. We have a smaller bucket here. We have two pieces for this like faux pump, just a little plastic piece here and then the handle portion right here we also get two of these like plates that the smaller bucket and pump will sit on we have a large metal square rod two clear plastic hoses we have the actual pump we have a bag of screws these are phillips head screws there's i believe two little screws and all the other ones are longer and then, of course, we have the instruction manual, and hopefully when we're done, it looks something like that. To start off, we're going to take the small bucket and attach the larger plate to it. Notice where the screws will go through this area here, and that lines up with these little dimples. So we're just going to throw it on like so. So we're going to use our small screws here to attach the panel to the small bucket, and from here on... Here on in, everything else will be using the large screws. If we take a quick look at the pump, you can see this little slide switch here with the negative sign and the plus sign. We can adjust how fast the water flow is. And they suggest in the instructions to start at the lowest setting and work your way up. Now for the next step, it says to place the long rod in this channel here. But there doesn't seem to be anything that holds it together, so I guess just laying it there is uh, the right thing to do. And then we're going to put the pump in the bottom, and you can see that little switch is facing forward towards this cutout here. And then we're going to route the cable through a notch in, uh, it's probably that notch. Whoa! Watch your toes. Probably that notch right there on the back of this piece. For our next step, we're putting four of the long screws around the perimeter here to attach our little bucket in that first plate to the big bucket. Remember to get your cord through this cutout here. Don't pinch it or anything. And those are your four screws. Now we have to assemble our little plastic pump here. And you see that little hole there is going to line up with this hole right here. So this guy just slides on top. Line up the holes. And put one of these screws in, and we can swing that guy a little bit out of the way. We need to attach our pump to this last plate that we have. You can see the two holes there. Line it up and screw that guy on. The instructions want you to put this handle on first, but I don't know why, because that makes putting this screw in more difficult than it needs to be. I 100% would put these two base screws in first, and then do this afterwards, because it just seems a lot easier. Got the four screws in around the perimeter, so this is what that guy looks like. We need to attach our hoses that bring the water up, so it's going to attach to the pump. Just press on like that, and then we're going to attach the other side to the underneath of our bucket. If you can see that little port right there, it's the same position, just up underneath. See, I have it on there, and then up under here. You can see it attached there as well. Now the tube seems a little too long to me, so I'm gonna trim mine just a couple inches so it looks a little nicer. So I took about two inches off, and that's how it looks now. Here we go again. So this hose has to go from that port right here up underneath here. Do yourself a favor, attach this before putting this on. They want you to do it at the end, but look what you're trying to do here. You are trying to connect that hose to that little port there while it's sitting on this bucket and reaching up underneath there. No, 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 no. Let's do it here and then put it on. Here, then on. Here, then on. Well, there it is, our finished product. We just need to get it outside, put some water in there, and see how she works. It's time to fill.
then we'll plug it in afterwards. It does say it'll take a few minutes to get all the water through the system and everything and start flowing right. I think filling up this bottom basin so about the cutout will be good. I'm going to run it off this portable power station so we can see how many watts it's using. Hopefully you'll be able to see the screen out in the daylight, but we'll see what happens. You can see we got water flowing up through the tube there. Oh, water's filling up the little pump. And we're flowing. Oh yeah, we got that good flow going. So it's gonna have to fill up this bucket and then leak down. Remember we have it at the lowest setting right now. And this is really hard to see. I think it says four watts. So that doesn't use much at all. I think we need to crank it up. What do you think? Oh yeah, that's high speed now. Still says four watts on this thing though. Once the second bucket gets full, we'll probably be able to add a little more to the bottom. And here we go. Oh yeah. Dual flow. Wind's enough to blow it around a little bit. Yeah, I'd say it looks pretty nice. So there it is guys, a little alpine water fountain. Thanks for watching.